guys, welcome back. Today's video, as I said earlier in an earlier video, that we're gonna be dedicating this video to just painting of the body 5T. Now, I've already done a little bit, gone off camera and, and done a little bit, just due to the fact that there's a bit of masking and a uh, bit of design that I want to do for this particular paint job. Um, <clears throat> now, as you can see, I have already masked up the main areas. Um, and prior to that, sorry, as you can see, I've drilled me holes. Two there, two up in the back, or we'll bring that down, two in the back, and we've got each side as well. I've decided to go at the sides just for a bit more strength. Now, <clears throat> the design that we're going for with this is um, a bit of just normal paint and some airbrushing. So I've gone and it's got like the, if you can see it on the camera, the bit of a, a tear look about it. So the, what's there? Three colors involved with this. So, um, and the other thing while we're on that now, what I've done is I've used a transparent blue. I don't know if you can, if you can see that on the, on the camera there. <coughs> um, so, there's two different colored transparent blues or translucent, whichever you want to call it. I think the one I'm using on the back is what they call a translucent. And the one that it's, I've used up the front part of it here is just a normal clear blue. Um, now, I'm using the mask out in here. I don't know if you can quite see it. I better see it there on the top. Um, it's just the ProLine logo. So easy to do. All I've done was I had a ProLine brochure and I cut out their little P dash and the L for ProLine. And then to put it in, inside here so it's the right way around, it's just a matter of, um, you can use tracing paper. You can probably see it on there. ProLine, now what you gotta do is, to, to have it so it's the right way, what you do is you cut it out, trace it, whatever, but then you, switch it around the other way and then put it on the inside. So when you're looking at it, putting it into the body, it looks back to front. Hence, so when you do that, it's the right way around. So you can see it on the outside. Um, definitely, it's, as you would know, to do it on the outside of the body, you'd put it the normal way. But because we're painting the inside, as a lot of you guys would know, we have to reverse it so as it looks right when we're finished. Now, all this stuff here is, it's just like a um, a sticky back paper or um, something along those lines. You can get them and they come just on a piece of piece of this like sticker material, and you draw your design on it, peel that off, put it on, be done. Um, now, <clears throat> excuse me. The um, the other things that I'm going to do, it's it's. Not as daunting as it as it sounds when you're, when you're painting a body. The only things you've got to remember is if, depending on which way you're putting your design, as to where it, you know, in relation to where it goes on the body, as to, like I said, whether you flip it or don't flip it. Some it doesn't matter. Um, like the likes of um, my kids from a while back had a a little book like this, and it's just all it's got inside is blank paper and a heap of different stencils. So, you know, things like that, I'm utilizing a couple out of there. Um, as you might see, I'm probably gonna use the Punisher skull at some, some stage around the body. The other thing is, I actually went on the internet and printed out some um, different types of uh, ideas for stencil and just cut them out. So, couple of different types of skulls and angry face, sort of angry sort of face. Um, things like this, just for filling, trim it all out. Which this, I mean, if you did that whole, that's just an A4 page. If you did that whole piece, it's gonna take a hell of a long time. So, sometimes you get, like my idea was to get this bit of a skull here and just some surrounding bits around it. So as we can transfer that into there and we can use this sort of stuff as background fill, um, just using, using pieces of it, different angles, different, and so on, throughout the body, just to give it a bit more texture. 
and other, other things like <clears throat> skulls, yeah, simple stuff like that. And it's, it doesn't cost you much. You print it off the internet. Um, you can print stencils off the internet, and which is what, which is what these ones are. These are actually stencils, but of course they're only paper. But that's okay. You can still use them. That's fine. I've used them in the past before on some of the other jobs. But this sort of stuff. Now the idea. <clears throat> behind using this piece here, I mean, I could have gone, like I said, all the rest of this, but it basically it's very similar right the way through. So you can just put this any which way as backfill after you put your initial um, artwork in there and use that to fill in the background. And it doesn't have to be as bright, you just do a lot of shade, or you can get some some um, clear black, not so much clear black, but I think, I think they call it smoke, and then put your original design in there and then dust a little bit on the back of the artwork you've already done already, which gives it, when you put you do some fill in the background with that sort of stuff, gives it a bit more depth. So that's the kind of thing we're gonna be looking at doing here. Now, <clears throat> the colors that I'll be using, I'm trying some different paint. It's a polycarbonate paint, as you can see in front here. Now it's from Redback Racing. I mean, I don't know much about it, I've only ever used it a couple of times on little things, but never actually in painting a body. So some of the colors we're using, this one is like a translucent blue. Um, it, I think the, the, okay, I'll give you some numbers, all right? Translucent blue. Now, that's what you can see on the back end here. Now, when we get out and do start the airbrushing, I'll show you a couple of samples that I've already done um, and to give you a bit, bit more of an idea. So look, like this trans, translucent blue, it's a, RBP CS39. So that's that's the paint code number if you want, you know. And we're also using um, what have we got here? Semi gloss um, brushed aluminium or, or I think it's so, so, anodized aluminium, not brushed, anodized aluminium. So and the yellow. Um, normal yellow, it's it's not a bad not a bad yellow actually. I I've already I to test it on a bit of a thing before just to see what it looks like. Um, yellow and of course some black. So the black will be where you do your artwork on the inside of the body. Once you're finished in here, you paint black over the back of it. Oh, sorry, on the inside. So to get the color you want um, of your artwork, dust, like in this instance, we want blue, okay? so. It's a, it's a matter of you go in, the areas that you that you got masked up to be painted first, get your clear blue, your translucent blue, dust over it to however dark you want it. Then you come back in with your, with your stencils and your airbrush or whatever else, use your white, do all your, all your artwork in here, in the parts where, you've already, where you're ready to go with, and then fill in the background or do some flames in the background. You might even do a little bit of flame work in here. Nothing, nothing too drastic. Um, <clears throat> and then once that's done, you then get, paint all that area, cover it all up with black. So then what you're left with is the artwork you get the airbrush on here, and nothing else. Anything else that's in there, if you if you do it right, which we'll go through it as we go along, it'll uh, look like it's in the background with a bit of depth, and that be done then you start painting on the colors. Now, the color scheme that we're going for, like I said, we're using these colors. Oh, and clear blue, which um, it's not too bad. It's like any Tamiya stand, uh, any Tamiya um, retailer, get these little bottles. These are, there's actually, there's, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna go on because there's a, quite a few different types of, of the one color, so. Righto, what you see taped off, is where yeah, is the truck's going to be yellow. And it's gonna end up with a blue in the back end. Where in here will be, all, all these bits here will all be where the airbrush work is, slash uh, any transparent stuff that you wanted to see. So, <clears throat> uh, a couple of other things that I was thinking about doing, which we may we may get to. Like I've been using um, got the Proline sticker kit for this body. Now, you got plenty of I've already started to cut some stuff here, guys. I was having a bit of a bit of a look. Now, some of these stickers. Now, whether you put them on your body, I mean, 
one or two of these I may use as a stencil um, to try and put on the part along here so it's sort of the word part the word pro line may be hidden behind the uh, the tear dog piece or whatever so but as we go along we'll get to that um, but yeah so excuse me as for other things like the other placements of colors we're not 100 sure how we're going to go like this bar across the top here then these two going in the back will be a different color and whether we do these two blocks here your number where your numbers go on whether they body color like yellow or something as we go through we'll decide here which colors we're going to use there but the main color is yellow yellow and blue so um right hey we won't go on too much more let's go out and let's start getting hit with the airbrush okay guys now this was the color i was talking about actually see if i can get it in the sun for you see there's that's that translucent blue uh this one here translucent blue now what i've done just a clear piece of lexan and put the put the transparent blue on and then i backed it with silver and then put a bit of black on the back of it so kind of gives you an idea gives it that uh it looks like metallic kind of thing so it's not too bad that was the color i was talking about so that's that's turned out nice that's what we're going to do with the back end with the back end of the truck so <coughs> what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a bit more a bit more of this blue around the back end of the truck here because there'll be no airbrushing going on around this back part here due to um it's going to be pretty tricky to do stuff in here but it's going to be one color around the back here and then we'll bleed in and i may do dust a little bit over some of this just to give it a bit, bit of a bit of a different look so what we do is go around through there now this was going to this back section is going to be pretty thick so because it will be like a one solid color pretty much so now what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to so we're doing like a bit of a blend just a bit of a blend put a little bit in there because it's already blue add my my bloody colors my colors my shadow so all right guys so now you can see i've got some artwork I did it off camera because my compressor won't shut off for some reason, so it's a bit too noisy. But I went ahead and I put a little bit of artwork in here uh, on the other side there and in the front. Now, what we're going to do now is, is I'm going to peel this off of here and then um, dust a bit of a bit of clear blue over all this to, to to give it the look that when we put some more on, that it looks like it's in the background. So let me just peel this off carefully without trying to scratch the paint that you've already laid down. So, what this has done here, which is okay, I can come back in. Can you see where I've dusted over? Oh, look out, it's left some other stuff on there. All right, so we're just gonna peel this off, gently. So we're left with our outline. Okay, right, so now we have that, I'll get my head out the way. I'm going to dust some blue over all this. So just some clear blue. Um, you can actually see here a bit of the, uh, actually I'll get a tack rag. Yeah, so I'm just going to wipe this with a tack rag. Get rid of a bit of this stuff off here. And it won't really matter too much because I'm going to put some other artwork here when it'll hide, it'll hide your overspray. What you should really do is if you're going to do something like this, make your area a bit bigger. So as you've got less of a chance to see lines like this. But well, that's okay, we'll deal with that as we go because we should be able to hide that. Now, I've just got some some clear blue in me in my airbrush, so we're just gonna back all this in, in the back of it here to so whatever we put in next will just look like it's in the back behind all this. Give it a bit of depth. So we'll get the other spots as well. Go over this. So all the stuff that you've done already will be what you can see firstly when you first look at it. It'll pop compared to the rest. So when not what we put in behind this will look like it's in the background. So um when we go up to here, we'll just cover all this up. 
Sorry about the shadow guys, got the sun behind me. It's a bit hard to... Now, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and blend this a little bit. I'm just going to go like that. Get all, all around the lettering. See, what what I'm going to do, I'm concentrating a little bit more heavily around the edge of the edge of the letters. So it gives it a bit more of an outline later on. So whatever's behind it will actually look like it's deep behind it. So it doesn't matter how much you put on this section here that you've already painted because you won't see it anyway. So just trying to get around the outside of this logo so that whatever's behind will look like it's wet, like back in behind so we go onto this side i'll keep out of your way keep out of the sun we'll be able to see what's going on here a bit better so we're just going to dust over the back of it we don't want to go too heavy because we're going to put some other stuff in behind them so getting around the edges and that one up there Concentrating on the bits of artwork themselves. Like that. So where the actual white paint is, mainly concentrating around the outside of that. So I'm gonna flip him over. And uh, you can see I've got my, my jerry can, fuel can in the back there as a, as a bit of a prop. Anyway, so here we go. What I plan on doing is using that other stencil as a bit of backfill and fill in some gaps in behind these and um, then I might put some, do some flames in the back of that. So it's all about, just take your time guys, don't be in a, in a rush to get it done. Just take your time. Now these sort of spots here is where the, where the stuff's gonna go in behind. So I like to try and concentrate a little bit more on those edges there, like you can see what I'm doing. So it's, it's give this look like it's further forward, like I was saying before, so. So just around them edges there and these little suckers here now yeah, i think that might do us all right and i might just go over that front bit a little bit more give these a bit more definition if i just i don't know if you can see that guys but what i'm doing is i'm going around that fella there around him around this one just around him and the backs of these eyes here now these stencils like i said before are pretty simple just print something up look up get on the on the net look up some photos or pictures and just print them out and then um get a like a, a stanley knife or probably an exacto knife and give it like your hobby knives and that give you a bit more a bit more of a sharper detail when you're trimming them out and that's all it is to find something you like Make yourselves a stencil out of it and um, go with that. It's usually the simplest and cheapest way and you can get some, some good results out of it. So now that I've done that, around there. So that should do us for that. Now, I'm gonna clean my airbrush and then I'm gonna come back in with some, with some more white and go in over the back of this and continue on guys so once you let that dry a little bit we'll get a heat going even a hair dry will will actually do the job for you to uh, help dry it a bit so what i'm going to do is this cut out stencil i've made i'm going to lay that around the the proline logo now the trickiest part i'm going to find here is 
trying to get it flat so I don't get anything that, that blows up underneath the stencil. So I want to try and overlap it a little bit so I can get some of this <coughs> detail. But mainly I want the skull there. So now that you've got him pretty much where you want, you just want to get, get your airbrush and just blow on top. Don't go on an angle this way or above or to the side because it will blow under. So just where you want, you want the detail, you just want to blow on top. So here we go. So just where you want the detail, just blow it on top. Now it might be hard to see. So I'm just going, just dusting over the top of this. Don't worry about where you end up with it. Just dusting it on like that. Just over the top. And you can t remove it. And there you have a bit of an outline. So what, we, what now what I'll do is I'll continue that and I'll put some more up the top here. And you can make this as dark, as, as heavy or light as you like. So I'm just going to do that. <coughs> Take it flat. It kind of almost looks like a transformer logo, doesn't it? Okay, now over here, I'm going to use some of the rest of this. Sorry about getting my hands in the way, guys. I'm just trying to get this in position so I can use some of this pencil that's been cut to add just a bit of texture. Just dust it on. You don't have to be heavy with it, it's just, just for a bit of background fill, like that. We even do a bit of this here, just lightly. So you get sort of a bit of fill around you. Um, something else you can you can use it also, even stuff you might have laying around the house, like a bit of, even a bit of this. You know, you can throw that on there and just, you don't have to be real heavy with it give you a bit of a that one didn't work out too good but you can sort of, sort of see what's going on there you don't want to do the whole thing just little bits like that so it just adds a bit of texture in the background guys that's all you that's all you're after like that there so that sort of stuff now what i might do also we'll keep going i'll tip it on the side now I think I won't bother putting more of that stencil over here on the front. What I might do now, so go back to here, down the front. Now I might actually, is it gonna stay there for me? I might actually do some, do some flames. Just, just some little licks in the background. Okay, so here's some stencil here. All right. Now you don't wanna overpower it. It's like all things. Flames need two sides. You probably would've seen, if these have been, Interesting that sort of stuff you'd, you'd see in the um, on YouTube. There's a whole different lot of ways of doing it. So you just put it in place. The flame. Even do a crossover. If you like. So I've got, got the shakes. All right, so now we'll go up this side. I don't want to make them overpower it too much because it's just something you're going to put in the, have in the background, something else to add to your, add to your look. But also, you might be able to see a little bit in the background there, guys. So um, add some little, little details. Little embers like that. It's a bit tricky trying to get in here without disturbing any of the, any of the other stuff that's going on. So it's just a matter of just overlapping some of your, some of your flames. Trying to do both sides. Don't forget they've got two sides, guys. Now this is. Just a, bit, just a rough example. And you can just add little bits onto your little hot bits, so to speak. Just keep going. You just keep layering in there. Doesn't have to be. There's no. 
no specific way of doing it, just however you perceive it. And um, as long as you just keep bringing them up, they got they travel. You, you flame the idea of the flames is they they go like a one direction type thing. So um, like that there. Yeah, I might try. I might try some flames here. I'm starting to run out of sun, guys. So I'm just gonna get my arms and my arms out of the way. I'm just doing these in the back here because we're not not that's not the main the main thing of the uh, of the artwork it's just something to fill in the background with so just something for a bit more texture in the back so when it's all said and done you will see bits and pieces of this in the back all right guys so you can probably if you can see you might be able to make out some flame licks there so um, I won't bore you as long while I do all the rest of this because it will take it take a little while longer. But um, I'll continue on with this and um, come back when I finished all this artwork and um, give you a look then. All right, guys. So now you can see where we're up to uh, with the, with, on the inside of the body there. Pretty much all the airbrushing that we're going to do for the moment is done anyway. So good. some of the backgrounds fill in. Now I put some bit of flame work inside over the top um, and then on the sides as well and uh, I didn't go all the way back to here because um, we're going to spray from here silver all around there to give that the, like a metallic -y look and now pretty much we'll hit it dry it a bit now I'm using the missus hair dry I don't have a, I don't have a heat gun at the moment so heat all this up drop so that it dries and then we can back this stuff with black and let's see where we're at, see what it looks like. So just go over it where you've you done all your, all your airbrush work. Try not, not spend too much time in one spot. So you don't disturb your tape. Last thing you want to do right now. Alright, now. I think we're pretty right to um, spray black over it. Alright guys, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our black. We're just going to cover up the areas where we've done all the airbrush work. And we'll see how we go. So we'll just go in with... That's a bit splattery actually, but you won't see it. So we'll just get light coats. And we're not going to go all the way to the back. We're just going to go to there. We'll be missing. Try and get it to blend with the next colour. So um, I'm just doing that. Light coat, that's a bit flatter up here. Can we get the hair dryer? <laughs> just go over it. Get all the spots where you've just sprayed. Try not to get it too much as your tape starts to lift. pretty dry just, just using this just helps speed up the drying process so you're not spending a heap of time now you just got to be careful with these when you're using the rattle cans guys or spray cans you don't get too much splatter so um, clean your tips so here we go over again you can do this with your airbrush if you like but I'm trialing these new well, I don't think they're new, but I've never used them before, so these polycarbonate paints, so I don't get too carried away. Cover over, go back to there. And um, I'll get my head in the way, you guys. The cans don't like working upside down too much. So we just go along like that and we just dust it in there towards the back. We don't want to make it a definite thing. Alright, we'll give that another hit with the, with the dryer. So I'll do this a couple of times and then uh, and then we'll come back. Alright guys, so I'll spray some black in here. 
and um, you can see there, still needs a couple of coats, you can still see it looks a bit thin, but um, so that's not too bad, it's coming out all right now, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to spray around the back section here with this semi-gloss anodized aluminium, semi-gloss silver anodized aluminium, there you are, so I'm going to spray that around the back here, and that should give it the, um, this kind of a look, hopefully. So right, uh, here we go. Just light coats, because you don't want runs. This is gonna look, look terrible. So it will blend in with the black here. So you just start spraying in. You get nice even coats in there. This will make the blue come up real nice. Keeps it not too dark, because the silver will keep it a reasonably light sort of color. So, um, some nice even coats there. Like I said, don't go too heavy with it at first. Just make sure you get some coverage. Once again, trusty old hair dry. There we go. Heat him up. Keep it moving around. Basically what you're trying to do here with the silver is coat it until you can't see much blue left in here at all. That means then you'll have, you know, all the blue part of it will be covered. You, you won't 100% get rid of it, but that's the idea. So you get a nice, and when you finish, when you look on the other side, you, it'll be a nice even cover. There won't, won't be bits missing or, or blotchy or anything. So, all right, we'll give that. You can feel the warmth in the, in the body, that's good. And then we'll give it another coat, a little light one. Concentrating up here. Make sure you get all the in all the crevices, guys. You want even coverage right the way around. And there I'm missing. And there. Alright. Alright guys, I'll give this a couple of more coats and then we'll we'll come back and check it out. Okay guys, here we go. I've actually run out of daylight, so we'll we'll leave it here and this will be this can be part one of the painting of the body for the 5T. So um where we're at, I'll just give you a quick look at where we're up to. And uh, you can see how all that artwork turned out. We've got the logo and skulls and and some flames in the background a bit of the you can see a bit of that fill fill work in around on the front here then um move along down to the side now you can see here where what, what i meant by about not going too heavy where i paint the black so the blue comes in into its own on the back end of the of the body there so but um here we go you can see a bit of the stuff in behind there and um keeping in mind too guys that this this body still has the plastic like the protective film on the outside so when the body's finished um it'll actually stand out a lot better you'll be able to get a good look at it but anyway that's where we're at guys so uh i run out of daylight to finish this off but um oh, i've got pain my fingers still um so stick around for part two guys and um like i always say get your rcs get them outside go and have some fun and uh maybe you could do this to one of your rcs all right guys have fun get outside and i'll catch you guys in part two of the 5t body painting see you guys